For me, the Gable film was one of the most intriguing pieces of cryptozoological footage I'd ever seen. The 8mm film was alleged to have been purchased at an estate sale by an anonymous source. The footage was digitized and then surfaced on the internet in 2007. The footage showed normal, everyday scenes of a family living a pleasant rural lifestyle, riding snowmobiles, chopping wood, and working on trucks. Judging from the style of clothing and the model of the vehicles, the footage appears to have been shot in the late 60s to early 70s. The film soon takes a dark turn. The filmmakers are driving down a two-track when they see something skulking by the tree line. They stop the car to get a better look. They get out of their vehicle only to be charged by the strange creature. It never gets up on two legs, but it is clearly a large and weird looking creature that has canid features. There are a few frames in this sequence that show a set of pointy canine teeth. A second piece of footage was released and its contents were gory. It depicts the Michigan State Troopers documenting a bloody carcass. It appears to be one of the same men who was seen in the other piece of footage, except he is torn in half. One can only assume that this film is the property of the Michigan State Police and I don't recall it ever being explained as to how the footage was released. Like most things that are too good to be true on the internet, this alleged footage of a dogman murder was a well-crafted fake. Monster Quest interviewed the creator, Mike Grusso, where he explained in great detail how he had hoaxed the film. There are two stories behind the 2014 Onaway Michigan Dogman photo, but both involve a young boy taking the picture in his family's minivan. The first story involves the family hunting deer with relatives. With their kills gutted, the family climbs into their minivan to leave. The boy takes a seat in the back of